Good morning, Rabotai. Yesterday we were speaking about some of the halachot of sitting versus standing during Tefillat Amidah. Now, as the name connotes, Tefillat Amidah, preferably Nepi Takanat Chachamim, should be standing with one's feet together. Uh, like we spoke about yesterday, sometimes there are onasim, sometimes there are situations beyond one's control, and the person can't do anything about it, he has to sit. Now, we spoke about what happens if the onus passes. Another instance uh, where this can happen is on a plane. Many times when a person's either on a plane or on a train, and he, the time for tefillah comes, and he wants to pray tefillah Amida. Now, what happens is, sometimes you get lucky and you can. Sometimes there's turbulence, and sometimes they get very antsy if you stand up. They say, you know, they start announcing on the loudspeaker, sit down, sit down. So what do you do if it's month tefillah comes? So over there, bevadai, yeah, because of the sakana involved, you sit down and you pray amida. The What happens is, though, if when you land, or let's say the turbulence passes and you have a chance to pray and it's still Zman Tefillah, or let's say you land, the flight lands, you go into the airport, and it's still time to pray. Like we said yesterday, most poskim hold that once the onis passes, you are obligated to pray again standing. Nevertheless, there's a machloket, some poskim say you're already yotze, therefore over there what you should do is pray once again, you should say, if I'm chayav to pray, then this is a Tefillat Chova. And if I'm not chayav to pray, if I'm already yotze, this should be Tefillat Nedava, you don't have to add anything into the Tefillah, just pray it again. Now, this uh, just a side point with regards to praying on the plane, uh, many gdolim, Manan Zechon included, they would not pray b'minyan on the plane. Sometimes, especially when they look for minyanim on the plane, sometimes you can have some people that are very aggressive to have you join the minyan on the plane. And they look at you weird if you don't join the minyan on the plane. What's wrong with you? But know that many gedolei olam did not. Manan Tzachon Baracha, Agar Nav Shalom Azal, Ben also prayed biyachid on the plane because they felt that praying by minyan many times gets uh, in the way of the flight crew, makes them nervous, makes them agitated, even if you do it normally. And usually the minyanim that do happen, it's usually praying next to the bathrooms, which is a shayla, if you can pray there to begin with, with the smell and whatever, sometimes it's too rushed, a person can't pray too much bechavana. In that situation, it's better to pray bechidut, like the Gedulah Olam did, with tov me'at bechavana, me'arbe shiro bechavana, and that is, uh, that's, that's what a person should do. Also, even if, if you're praying by yourself, either by your seat or by an emergency exit, make sure it's not in a way that disturbs your neighbor, right? Sometimes, right, so I've seen it on planes also, right? You look, there's not really zmanim on the plane, but as soon as you see a crack of light outside the window, boom, right? Everything breaks loose, time to pull out the tefillin, visit, people are sleeping. You have to, you have to use judgment. Sometimes a person, you, know, you don't have to destroy your neighbors just because it's time for Tfilat Shacharit Yom Tov.